وحوي سيد المسلمين وشاكي وحوي سواني فتحية وحوي حصوب وحوي تنوان فرح تفتيم تفتيم Thank you. Uh, those are my remarks. We wish you God's blessings as you find a solution to you, this conflict. Problem, but uh, never mind, that will be my problem. Uh, my colleagues are free to add to what I've said. And I want to begin by asking Minister Muslim to say something. I will be sure. Minister, I was very wrong. Uh, no, no, understanding that you are uh, pressed with uh, time pressure. Uh, in joining the chairman of the ministerial uh, committee for uh, facilitating the, the Somali peace process, I would only add quite just a few words. We are not here yes. to tell you or to guide you what to do with regard to bringing Somalia back on feet. Okay. We simply don't have that mandate to tell you what to do on Somali peace. Achievement. As people with deep history, proud people, we know you are the masters of your own affairs. But we are here as your own brothers cooperate with you, to facilitate with you, to listen to you, and to do what you tell us to do. So if we say a few words here and there, it is only to facilitate the process itself, nothing else. But we have been doing it for so long and we've said there is limit for everything. Even your own mother, she may not claim that you don't belong to her, but she would definitely want to say, no, I'm fed up, I cannot help you. I hope you all recognize that you have failed Somalia and the Somali people. As leaders, you have failed your own people and your own nation. But this has not been probably unique to Somalia. The only thing now you have to do is to say enough is enough and now that you must be determined to bring Somalia back on feet. <laughs> We'll have a lot to say uh, during our conversation with me, Polsky. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh,
this, 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 this brother has my permission to address you in Somali language itself. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, he is given that he was allowed to talk to them in Somali. Now he will be very open with them and yeah. talk to them whatever he wishes to be addressed. Like. Uh, in Badam, um, and so many, so many times Somalis have said and other people from the international community have said that Somalia will have uh, gotten a government will have resolved their problem uh, the other problem why we cannot be the solution is because part of the Igat member families, particularly Ethiopia and Djibouti, were not uh, uh, ready to help Somalia do this, or they had their own agenda to stop this. So this is to prove that that is non-existent now. But having said that, at the end of the day, it is the Somalis who have no government, who have, uh, have got a problem. So whatever is said and done, it is up to the Somalis to reconcile themselves and form a government. The others, like Djibouti and uh, Ethiopia, they are only for will be to help the Somalis resettle their problems and uh, do something for themselves. So many times. So many times you have given this fake or lame reason that uh, Ethiopia and Djibouti were not uh, able to or were not in a position to assess Somalis. That is now over. We are ready to help you. Ultimately, the decision has to be made by you. You have to do something for yourselves. So, in brotherly terms, we are telling you, uh, there is no one time Ethiopia and Djibouti had fought over anything. They were always friends. Djibouti and Ethiopia were always friends. So this is to tell you in brotherly terms that we both and everybody in the, in the region is ready to help you. So if only if you are willing to help yourselves. And to prove to you that we are united in this uh, effort to help Somalis, even Eritrea and uh, Ethiopia are ready to be united with this on this particular issue about Somalia. Everybody is united in the region. So this is to prove to you that even Ethiopia and Eritrea can sit together and be united on, on, for Somalia. Yeah. I will have mentioned, there are some other things I will have mentioned, but because there are so many people here, then I guess it's like, you know, But to the leaders, this is what we have to show them. The Somalis are the leader of the Ugandi, Habona, I love the Hai. Mahori dig the Hai. If Somalis would have had true leaders, this problem would have been solved a long time ago. And we would have regained our integrity a long time ago. And uh, all those people who are sitting here, most of them actually, I know you one by one, at least. Kartina, 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 Kartina,
you are not less knowledgeable than others you are you have got enough uh, intellectual capacity to do the right thing and uh, you are gentlemen the only problem is that they have personalized these issues uh, that's such that everybody wants to consider his own interest before us. This is what has the main cause of the problem. So brothers, uh, this is uh, what we have to tell you. This uh, problem uh, has taken a long time now. Um, <coughs> Uh, although we will not like to see this, but unfortunately, unfortunately, this seems to be the last peace conference for Somalia. So with God's help, uh, we expect so that uh, you people can finally resolve these issues and I uh, will pray for you, we will help you in every way we can. Otherwise, if uh, the end result is not positive, you will be in the dark side of the history books. You will be noted as people who have failed to bring back Somali security. But uh, whatever is said and done, regardless of time, so we request that uh, you take advantage of this opportunity, uh, such that you will be documented. Uh, in, in history books that you people, these particular people who are here with us today or the present generation were able to solve this problem. If that does not happen, you will also be in the history books as the, the very same people who have destroyed the country. Otherwise, the future generations will read in the history books that you people who are responsible for the chaos of Somalia, that you people who are present in today's generation were, were not able to solve their problem, and uh, you are, you'll be in the negative side of history. Yeah. United, united as members of the Iget family, those who are seated here today, united, this is what we are telling you. Yeah, we will pray to God that may you be the people who resettle and solve these issues. This is uh, our prayers for you, this is what we expect of you. Will you have the means to do this? But it will depend on you. For us, just the way my other brothers have said, the final decision has to come from you. And we will help you in whatever ways we can. Thank you. I thank, I thank my colleagues. And before we, we hear from your side, uh, I want to share briefly with you what we expect you to do. Basically, on our side as ministers, we want to reaffirm with you that we have come to the end of phase one and phase two, and we want to begin the final phase. We are also saying we would want to see installation of a workable, stable, and implementable government of Somalia. We would also want to see the principle of inclusivity by ensuring that the representation of all clans and the sub-sub-clans in the parliament and in the government to be formed. That there should be reasonable 
balanced presence of political groups in the new government. 